Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huck Bones Equipment. Today we're going to be doing an overview of a KC70 track carrier from Kubota. That is what's behind me. Same as we always kind of do is start at the back, work our way to the front, uh, doing an overview, giving you some detailed specs, and then we're going to do a ride along uh, demonstrating how it works. So, so stick with us. So for the KC lineup from Kubota, uh, there's either the KC70 or the 120. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the 70, uh, giving you all the specs about that. The, the 120 we'll be doing a review uh, very shortly whenever one arrives in stock. Uh, again, the big, biggest difference on that is it's obviously bigger uh, and has a three-way dump instead of just a single front dump like the KC70. After that, talking about this one specifically, uh, you know, in this operator station, it's kind of neat. It's exclusive to the track carrier lineup from Kubota, you know, like, uh, this seat, uh, although it uh, hangs out the back here and looks very uncomfortable, in that industry, if you're using them, you're going to be quite comfortable on it. You know, it is fully adjustable, uh, whether it goes all the way forward or all the way back. And again, it is a single cylinder uh, Kubota engine under there. Um, you know, it is nice, clean burning, fuel efficient. Uh, you're going to run all day and then some uh, when operating these machines. The transmission, it's pretty interesting. You know, it's got three reverse gears and three forward. The third forward uh, is quite fast. Uh, I don't know how once you get bounced along, how you keep your load in that, in the track carrier, but it does do a fantastic job of getting you there, whether the load arrives or not with it. After that, you know, it is a hydraulic dump. It's the nice handle there. And then you have each control here, and we'll demonstrate it in the, whenever we're actually utilizing it there in a few minutes, is controlling each track, whether it be the left or the right. After that, you have an emergency brake and then actual foot pedal or hand throttle up here to get it actually going forward. And you'll see it either here or up here. Um, and then after that, whenever we start talking about the actual transmission here is a uh, hydrostatic transmission. It is not shaft driven. Uh, you'll see a nice big belt in there uh, powering it, but it is fully hydrostatic. Um, and then again, after that, you have a very robust carrier on the, on the front of this machine. Uh, you're able to have a 700 kilogram, 700 kilogram load capacity on that. Uh, and you know, the whole machine in total weighs about a thousand pounds there. So very robust, uh, very easy to utilize. Um, and again, some of the key features on that is having those tracks. Uh, it's gonna get you in and out of that backyard. Uh, you know, this machine as it sits is under 35 inches wide, uh, 34.6, something like that. Uh, so it's gonna get you into that backyard and it's gonna keep moving. You know, if this was a wheeled machine, uh, the odds of it getting back there in muddy conditions are pretty low. And again, whenever you're dealing with these tracks, uh, you'll see it's a bogey system, uh, just like you're gonna see on our excavators or skid steers. Uh, so it does take some of that bounce out. It is still limited as the size, uh, what, it's gonna, uh, what it's gonna feel like on there. Um, and then after that, for adjusting your tracks, uh, again, it has that, uh, adjustment there, like, just like you're gonna see again on our excavators or skid steer, uh, you know, a little bit of grease in there, whether you need to tighten or slacken off those uh, tracks, or maybe you pop a track off. Very, very simplistic to take it on and off. So uh, again, this machine isn't for everyone. Um, obviously it's something that you're gonna see quite often in the city, whenever they're doing work in the backyards and those subdivisions. It pairs beautifully with either the new Z uh, U10 uh, excavator or the 008 from Kubota. And again, it's designed to get you into that backyard, get digging, fill this up and bring it to the front uh, where either a bigger dump truck or bigger excavator is there to move that uh, material. So again, limited market, but whenever you need one, you need one. And, uh, and Kubota does a very good job of, uh, of delivering it. So, and now we're gonna jump to actually demonstrating it so you can actually get an idea of how this thing operates as uh, you're not gonna see them everywhere or be able to just hop on and use one. So, uh, so let's stick with us on that.
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, you know, it was a brief overview of the KC70 as well as the demonstration. Um, as you can see, it operates completely different than what you're going to see, whether it be a tractor, excavator, or skid steer. Um, it is a, a kind of a niche market on this end of a, for a track carrier. You're not going to see too many out there, whether it be, you know, you're not going to see too many out there, whether it be a rental house or a construction site. Uh, they're kind of an oddball, but uh, if needed, you can't go wrong with a Kubota track carrier. Uh, it's going to get the job done and do an awesome job of doing it. Uh, you're going to be quite comfortable sitting on that operator station all day, even with it uh, uh, bouncing around there on you. But uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.